Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So this is a different type of video that I haven't made before and this is talking about someone that has the world's longest record for fasting and this person is known as Angus Barbarian and he's obviously not with us anymore because this was done back in 1966 and he fasted for a total of 382 days, even though this image which I didn't create says 392 days. So the research that I've looked into, some places say 382 days, some say 390 days, but the medical journal that's in says 382 days, so I'm gonna go with that. So this man was very overweight, 214 kilograms. And this is what he looked like when he broke the fast with egg and also some toast, which I don't recommend that you do that, but he did that and that is absolutely fine for him. And yeah, he went down to 81 kilograms in weight. And as you can see, he looks a lot, lot lower in weight, which you would expect. And that's what his pants used to look like, which were very, very big. So yeah, this was a very, very long fast. And this is another image showing what he looked like before and what he looked like afterwards, which he looked way, way better for obvious reasons. And there's another photo of him where he's at a more ideal body fat percentage and just opt to weight overall. And it was his uh, goal weight that he actually wanted. And when this was done, which it ended around July 1966, it was put in a lot of different newspapers, which I actually did some research up online to find them. And as you can see, it says Scott eats his first solid food meal in 392 days. And it went down from 472 pounds to 179 pounds. And as it says here, Dundee, Scotland, July 11th, Angus, Barbaria, 26, down to a trim 179 pounds from 472 today, had his first meal in more than a year. Breakfast was served, one boiled egg, a slice of buttered bread, and a cup of coffee without cream or sugar. Angus, a six footer, ate slowly, then he sat back down and smiled. I enjoyed thoroughly my egg and I feel very full. And then it says another title here saying amazing willpower. Now he's looking forward to a vacation in Spain and a gradual return to eating with an eye to keep his weight stable. Angus, who worked in his family's fish and chip shop, which yeah, definitely looked like he's working in one of those with the amount of uh, excess body, the, well, body weight, should I say. And obviously, yeah, those foods are very, very calorie rich and eating that on a regular basis is not good. And it goes on to say he amazed physicians with his willpower during the 392 days since they suggested a diet. He gave up his job and reported to the hospital for stays of two or three days at a time. One of the physicians said, usually patients have to stay in the hospital to all to resist their temptation to eat, but he had spent a lot of time at home. This is one of the most remarkable cases of voluntary weight reduction I have ever heard of. And that's something I want to mention. He did this on his own desire to do this. He didn't know it was gonna fast this long, but it just naturally went in that direction, which I will talk a little bit more on that in a minute. And it has another title saying, taste if it's got on. He would gradually get back to a light steak and odd strings of spaghetti and would gently work himself back to a normal life of ordinary food. Angus said he feels fine despite his regime of living on water, soda, water, tea, coffee, and prescribed vitamins, which means during the fast, because that was the things that he consumed. I have forgotten what food tastes like, he said before tackling his first solid breakfast in more than a year, which for obvious reasons, yeah, it would be very strange to actually come back to normal eating after that long time of fasting. Not that I've fasted that long, but it just makes some sense to me. Angus added that during the diet he had nothing at all to eat, not even a piece of fruit, but as a special treat I occasionally had a little milk or sugar in my tea. At one time his weight dropped to 163 pounds, but doctors let me start having a little sugar with my tea and salt with water and I went up a little. Angus said he's going to look for a new job when he comes back from his vacation. One temptation has been removed. His family has sold the fish and chip shop, which is a really good thing. And if you do your research up online, it's then in this newspaper, after long diet, he did like dislikes food and it goes into detail on that. And various other different newspapers. Some diet loses 293 in 392 days. And yeah, they're just article after article. Man ends his 390 day fast after losing 293 pounds. 
and then this one and this one there's just so many i found so many that were talking about this all these reasons it's quite a big feat and it interests a lot of newspapers and this was also posted in a medical journal and it was done by the university department of medicine dundee scotland which he was from scotland and it's called features of successful therapeutic fast of 382 days duration and they go into all the detailed information on his fast and i'm going to quickly zoom in so i can see this a bit more clearly and see so you can as well a 27 year old male patient fasted under supervision for 382 days and has subsequently maintained his normal weight and it goes on to talk about his blood glucose concentrations here and various other information. And they do also talk here about his potassium blood levels and various other bits of detailed information, which I'm not going to go into. But you can check this out fully, this article, if you want to This in this medical journal. I'll put a link down below for it. And they go on to talk about current opinion on fasting therapy for obese is perhaps best summarized by the few that fasting for relatively short periods is beneficial, whereas long-term fasting, i.e. long than 40 days, has an element of risk attached, which it does have an element of risk attached. I don't recommend that anyone else go and fast for this amount of time unless you feel desire to do it and you're getting supervision with it. But yeah, as I said, over 40 days can be more dangerous, which yeah. It's totally understand why but as long as you know what you're doing or if you go to some sort of you could say retreat center with someone that is an expert on this and guide you through it then that could be a safe way to do it and it goes on to say several years ago a grossly obese young man presented himself for treatment initially there was no intention of making his fast a protracted one but since he adapted to it so well and was eager to reach his ideal weight he fasted which continued into what is presented as the world's longest recorded fast, which is in the Guinness Book of Records, 1971. This report describes some of the features which emerged during the 380 days of his fast. And then they talk about the method, which it goes on to say just in the newspaper article, that vitamin supplements are given daily as a multivit, vitamin C and yeast for the first 10 months, and as palladic which palladic is just a mixture of different vitamins for the last three months of the fast. Non-caloric fluids was allowed and from day 93 to day 162 only, he was given potassium supplements and from day 345 to day 355 only, he was given sodium supplements. No other drug treatment was given. Initially, the patient was treated in hospital, but for the greater part of the time, he was allowed home, attending regular as an outpatient for checkups. 24-hour urine collections were made periodically throughout his fast, so they could check his creatine levels and various other things as well, which was really good they could do that, so they could make sure that he wasn't getting into dangerous territory, because you can get into very dangerous territory when fasting for this length of time. And they have so much more detailed information on here. This shows blood glucose levels and each mark here is shown each month. So as you see here, June, September, December, March and June. And as you see the blood glucose levels are way higher here. And as the fast goes on, it drops. And then it shows you the plasma calcium phosphate levels, uric acid, creatine levels, urea as well. And yeah, he just had absolutely amazing results with this. And obviously, one of the main reasons is his body is burning his own body fat as fuel. He's not getting any fuel from calories sources such as foods and liquids that contain calories. And yeah, it's really good that he had such amazing willpower to do this and push through and get desired weight that he wanted to. And it's a way that doesn't cost you any money to lose weight whatsoever. It's a completely natural and effective way and safe way when done correctly. You know exactly how to do it safely and know when you're into dangerous territory and when you should stop or not because some people can push themselves longer than it's necessary. It also shows the plasma magnesium concentrations which was higher at the start of the fast and it went down a bit and sometimes it would go up, down and then it got back into the normal range once he started consuming food and various other things that could get his magnesium levels up. So as I said, if you're interested in looking at this, 
because there's so much information that I'm not going to go into. The video would just be too long. A lot of it is just not necessary for me to read out. You can look into it. And from what I'm aware of, he did keep his ideal body weight for the rest of his life until he left this amazing human experience. And it's got the references for everything that's shared in this, and this is on the NCBI website, which is one of the main websites in the world to have so much scientific research on there on many different things. And the conclusion says, short-term fast, although demonstrating to the obese patient his ability to lose weight, have a poor long-term outlook with respect to subsequent weight gain. We have found like Munro and colleagues that prolonged supervised therapeutic starvation of the obese patient can be a safe therapy. And I don't agree with that. It's not starvation because your body is still getting a fuel source from your own body fat. So you're not starving. If you're someone that's really skinny, you've got no body fat, then yeah, you're starving because where is it going to get the fuel source from? It's going to break down all your muscles and all your fat and then you've got nothing left. And then it is very unhealthy for you. You should never be doing it if that is something that is going on for you and it also goes on to say which is also effective if the ideal weight is reached there is however likely to occasionally a risk in some individuals attributably to phase in different aspects of the adaptive response to fasting until the characteristics of these variations in response are identified and shown to be capable of detection in prodromal stages Extended starvation therapy may be used cautiously. And obviously they mean extended starvation therapy, they mean extended or water fasting. And they go and say there are views on it as well, which, yeah, a lot of doctors even in today's world do not agree with extended water fasting. They say that it's dangerous and you shouldn't do it. So that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down, I don't mind. And please make sure to share this with anyone else that you think would like to hear about this amazing fast done by Angus for around 382 days. And don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And the type of videos you expect to get from me are videos on intermittent fasting, extended water fasting, weight loss, calisthenics, and many other different videos to teach you so much valuable information that will actually help you go in the direction of gaining, maintaining the body desire and the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay happy, stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.